I don't know, more time. Blinka, blinka, blinka. And what I want to do is first uh, celebrate what has happened. And Lady Ada, maybe you could talk about this. 25,000 thanks. Um, what does it mean when something gets a star on GitHub? An angel gets its wings. An angel gets its wings? No, I'm just kidding. No. Um, when people use stars to, to give kudos and to bookmark, now, you know, there's projects with a lot of stars that are great, and there's ones that I'm not a huge fan of, and they don't have stars, or the other way around, whatever. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't necessarily, you know, it's not the only value of um, a project, but we think it's really neat when we see um, people starting the repo because the popularity of people using CircuitPython seems to be related to the growth in, in how many stars. So um, it's, not, it's not how we judge ourselves because we don't use external validation to uh, <laughs> uh, judge our self-esteem, but um, it's nice. Thank you, everybody. I remember when we hit 1,000 stars and it was live on the show because we were showing off the Pi Portal and we were like, we were so yeah. close to 1,000. Uh, and when projects get forked, you don't get the stars from the fork. So it's like, you you know, you have to yeah. start from zero. We had, um, uh, that's right, uh, someone just said, uh, they remember when Scott, we hit 2,000 uh, on uh, a show a while ago. Okay, great. So here's a newsletter. This is another one. Let me reassure everyone again. So Adafruit Daily is not connected to adafruit.com. has nothing to do with your store account. Uh, put in one of those... Uh, email addresses so you can tell if your email was ever harvested. We don't do it, that's why we're confident uh, about saying uh, subscribe, unsubscribe, you'll never have to worry about a newsletter from us or an email if you don't want it. So uh, on the big board this week, uh, Lady Ada's Read Me podcast with GitHub it was really good. Check yeah, they somehow out. invited me back, but I don't think they're going to invite me again. <laughs> yeah, it might be my fault. That's okay. Um, no, this one's my fault. Okay. I'll take the blame um, for this one. August 6th is Circuit Python Day, so set your calendars for that. It's snaky. Um, we'll have a bunch of folks at one. It's going to be Jeff, Dan, Catney. They're going to discuss Circuit Python. Um, at 3 p.m., Lady Ada's going to do a board tour. Uh, not not a boring tour, but a board tour. Board, and then board Scott's going to do a deep dive special edition, and then we have a lot of other stuff. Mm. If you have a um, CircuitPython project you want to show, Wednesday the 4th, come on by. And, and Blink accounts too. So if you're using you know, Raspberry Pi or other single board Linux computers and you're using our CircuitPython libraries, you're welcome. It's cool. Come on by. Yeah. Um, and if you have anything planned, let us know. Um, we know it's like still a little challenging with events around the world. Um, the first CircuitPython day we did, there was a lot of in-person ones. We know that's not going to happen, but that's okay. We can do virtual stuff, and we can also build some stuff together that we can show next year, because we'll be doing one every single year forever. Um, Adafruit.io Whippersnapper, we're looking for beta testers. Do check out the blog post. Uh, Brent and team are working really hard on that, Lauren and Justin. Um, everyone over there is doing a neat job. It's a very cool, uh, just to describe it in the shortest sentence I could think of is uh, Circuit Python for IoT. Like, just like, because it's like, if you like, if you like ease of use, like this is, you plug it in, it just shows up and it just I, I'm uh, designing the IoT system that I want. <laughs> and so um, I think it's coming out really good. I think it's, it's, it's something that is cross-platform. It's easy to use. We're going to support Python. Right now, we're supporting Arduino C only, but we're going to eventually um, support Python as well. Um, and thinking about it as components that are plugged together rather than um, lower abstractions. Um, I think when people use it, they'll, they'll know what I mean. It's like we think of things as buttons or potentiometers or relays. And, and so I think it, it becomes more beginner-friendly because we're, we're not assuming that people are so good at electronics that they know how to abstract between different parts. Um, yeah. Anyways, you'll see more from Whip or yeah. I.O. I like to think of it's like, if you remember the first time you plugged in a microcontroller and it showed up as a USB drive, like, wow, that Yeah, was, we're trying to take like that. Like, that was so easy. That ease of use of CircuitPython, yeah. and we're bringing it to IoT because I think they're, they're really connected. Yeah. Talk about the hat check. Um, this is neat. Uh, Anne's reaching out to the author, uh, April, for this. Um, this is Visual Studio Code for Python programmers, which a lot of people use Visual Studio. So do uh, keep an eye on the blog. Um, someone asked in the chat earlier, like, what do we think of GitHub Copilot? Speaking of like AI and machine stuff, I don't know. Um, I want to learn more about it. I want to use it. And I want to understand it. And I want to see what people are saying about it. Um, 
I, don't I think know it's yet. really interesting. I don't know yet. Right? I don't have like it's good or it's bad, but I'm just like, that's an interesting idea um, that I didn't, I didn't foresee. Outside of Copilot, just another statement. I like I, AI that helps people, not the AI that everyone says, oh, Skynet, these robots are going to kill us one day, or this like. I like AI that like, here's a human doing something, here's how I can assist and help. I think that's a good way to approach AI instead of like, it's always person versus machine or person versus, yeah. you know, this, this thing. Um, you know, I tend to like AI art and AI generated things that there's, there's not a harm model there. There's, yeah. con there's consequences of this stuff. So right. we should think about those. So anyways, um, I don't know about Copilot yet. I, I put my name to be on the beta. I'm not on it yet. Yeah. Um, check out the deep dive with Scott and so exciting. Uh, so and Jim. with Damien George, it's, it's good. We're yeah. we're starting to do more projects together. We're teaming up, um, us and MicroPython, CircuitPython, MicroPython. We have a lot more in common, more in common than ever. Um, yeah. And I think it's going to be good for both projects. A bunch of keyboard projects, unending really, and um, latest events and more. All the things that you can sign up for at Adafruit Daily, Python hardware. <laughs>